So now let me go 20 at A. Holy moly. Guys, we gotta watch this. I don't use macros that much, but when I find an opportunity to do so, it is so satisfying. Hi, please don't mind this. This is just me in my natural habitat. Randomly decided to take this video because something happened that really excited me while I was coding. I hope you enjoy it. I, I hope you learn something from this. And if this is like way over your head, I'm really sorry because I'm just a vim nerd sometimes. Okay, bye. Let me show you the magic of it. Okay. Now, here's what's my problem. I want to copy each of these things. So like literally copy this thing, put it here, paste. So new line, paste that thing, put this and then paste it again, right? And then put a comma at the end. And I thought, what a perfect opportunity for a macro. Because this is like just an automated task that I don't need to do myself or spend time on. I should just do it once, create a macro for it and then have it automated. So I'm gonna attempt to create the macro again. Um, I'll delete all of these to show you how I did it. So the first macro I'm gonna create, I'm gonna like make this combination of macros. I'm gonna press Q and we'll call it F for find or something. So let's look for the first const. Let's find the space. Go to the next character, VT space, yank that. So that's my first macro, I'm gonna leave it at that. Escape, Q to stop recording. Now the second macro is over here. I'm going to press Q to record again. I'm gonna press um, N to record on the, the N key. So what I wanna do here is new line, escape, paste, append mode, colon space, escape, paste again, and then append mode comma. And that's it, that's my entire N. So now I'm gonna make a macro that will tie them both together. So to connect the two steps. Okay, so at this point, I want to play at play my F. So let's do at F. Okay, let me verify that I have constants um, copied, paste, yes I do. So now let's go over here and let's play my at N macro. Oh, beautiful. Okay, you think that was beautiful? Wait, just wait. Let's play it all together. So if, if I go, I need to go back to like where I was in my other file. By the way, this is just the same file split. So let me now just work within one file so I can run this macro all together. So I'm at the build container one, right? So I need to, let's record a new macro. Let's call it A for all. So, okay. I need to run my macro at F, beautiful. Then I need to add this to the bottom. So let's go all the way down, shift G. Let's go this many up because that's fine. And now we're in the same position as when we can play our N. So let's now play our N, beautiful. And then go back a few characters and press star to go to navigate to um, where we were before. Beautiful. And now we're in the position to start our F macro again, which means we can stop our A macro. And um, let's try it. Let's play it. So let's do one uh, for run container. So at, oh, actually, I'll show you this for dramatic effect so that you can see. Let me just uh, save so you can see it um, building up. It'll be beautiful, I promise. Okay, so let's play our macro at A. Okay, there we go, run container. And then, so I don't know how many variables I have, but I'm gonna guess it's more than like 20. So now let me go 20 at A. Holy moly. Guys, we gotta watch this. Oh shit, I can't, it's, yeah, okay. Anyways, oh my God, okay. Come on, is that not super cool? This is why I love Vim. It just, I don't use macros that much, but when I find an opportunity to do so, it is so satisfying. Okay, let me just finish it off. Um, you, I think you get the point. I think if I do like 100 at A, it'll just go until it can't. This is something that would have taken me a good like 15 to 20 minutes to do. So um, yes, I hope I've convinced you that macros are super cool and awesome. And um, thanks for nerding out with me. Bye.
chips, fudge. Let me just record the macro again one second.